Hello everyone, this is Aeris Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play. So last time we finally made it to Hogwarts and had our first night sorted into Ravenclaw. And now we get to explore the common room. I think we're supposed to go up, but why don't we start by going down, see how much freedom we have here. I think the part of the game that I'm looking forward to the most is how they did the castle. Someone else's dorm room. Ooh. That looks nice. Slightly different from ours. How many of these are there, though? Bathroom. All right. At least we came into the men's room. Ooh, a chest. Oh, it is locked. A level 3 lock. Guessing we would need the spell that can unlock chest to do that. Right, so we did reach the bottom floor here. Let's go back up and find the actual common room. We know there's a chest down here. I think this is the room that we came from, room number five, yep. I wonder if five just stands for fifth year? Ooh, the great lady. <laughs> this should be interesting. She's the ghost that haunts the common room. She's the daughter of the founder. I suppose some introductions are in order. Time to make some friends. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone threw a dumb box. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. The people have heard about our trip. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. All right, we met the goofball. This looks like something we can interact with, with perhaps a fire spell to light it up, but right now we can't do anything there. Seems like the other two friends are in the room behind us, but uh, we want to explore a bit more. Ooh, we cannot leave the common room. That is some warning. Out of bounds. By the way, the common room, splendid. 
So it's not completely free roam, self-ranging books. And we can't go over there because those statues are blocking us. But can we go up? She's looking at us. No dialogue, though. Posters of Quidditch. I'm guessing this is seven year. Ooh, another chest, level two. We're getting the lay of the land here. Can't open that. I wonder if you make the same friends no matter which house you start in. Or are they different for every house and actually increase replayability? Kind of hard to know, since Everett seems just like the everyday goofball. Paintings that move. Ooh, another chest. So there's three chests in the Ravenclaw common room. Oh, this one's level one. If only we had any spell to open chests here. Professor Black glanced at me the other day in the Great Hall. I spit out my breakfast. Not sure it sent the right message. What do you think Black's wife is like? She must be miserable. Although, not while he's here, perhaps. It's good Black's children are too young to attend Hogwarts. <laughs> I'd hate it if my father was headmaster. Everyone's trash talking our headmaster. I mean, canceling Quidditch. Can we go up this thing? Yes, we can. Wow. Up, oh, level one lock. Okay. All right. Back down we go. Is far too difficult for me. Much prefer potions. I like to have a recipe to follow. Transfiguration requires such precision. Trash can. Anyhow, time to meet Amet and Samantha. Spot. Samantha first. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. 
And good luck to you too on your first day. Let's have an apple. So I know you can grow your own plants that can help you in combat. There are aggressive plants that can assist you. Brilliant. You think you could Ah That is not how that Why hello? Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, Better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Hey there, Lou Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. All right, time to go to class. Now we're allowed to go downstairs. Guess we're also not allowed to run in the common rooms. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Okay, that's not really detailed
The challenge is to collect more pages, huh? Are the only way to gain experience points. Okay. Each challenge has tiers. Special reward unlock at each tier you complete from appearance to critical upgrades. We get some glasses for collecting two pages. We have to claim it. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Would we be prompted? And what is this? Just hotkey to a spell list that we can attach. And we can assign it. Well, it's currently assigned already. How do we remove it? I guess we don't have to. We can wait till we get another one. Wingardian Leviosa. Transfiguration. Altering. Vanish items. Ooh, the unforgivable curses. What about lock picking? These are four purple spells are four spells. Yellow ones are control spells. Damage spells, utility spells. Okay, all right, it's pretty clear. The counter, old counter to stun. Ancient magic throw. Ah, this is what we need. Hello, Homura. A bind. Okay. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. A puzzle? Revelio. Spider. Looks like a hydra on the bottom or a snake. 113 question mark, 1321 question mark, question mark. Huh. Wait, are these locks on the side? It seems like we have to hit certain symbols, perhaps. Maybe when the professor isn't staring at us and waiting for us. Another one of these busts. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames oh, to get fast travel. A bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. So these are flu flames, which are fast travel points. 
How do we open map? Okay. Wow. Okay. I guess we're going right there. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Don't know why the common... That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We can be honest with her. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right, feels like we're getting extra homework here. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. 
I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, it tells us where we had to go to class. I could get lost in the castle, I might use the charmed compass. Main quests. Unlock new feature, grant experience. Some are locked by spells and level requirements. Okay. Professor assignments give us new spells, or as quest rewards. Track a quest with A. I think we're supposed to go to Charms first. Or actually, we could go to either one, I guess. Levioso or uh, a seal, uh, Aku. Wait, it's basically one's fetching item, one's lifting items. We'll go to Charms, I guess. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right, we're eager to tackle things for sure. Cast Charm Compass will guide you to anything we're tracking. Ah, okay. That's helpful. We don't necessarily have to go there. Who is this? something in there. I just know it. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. A side quest already. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Perhaps if we start in Hufflepuff, come and find me if you we would something illuminating that solves the mystery. See her as one of the friends we meet. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. The statue seems like we gotta go down somewhere. Perhaps here? 
That's not a statue. Maybe on the other side. Ooh, that's a flying parchment. Please don't be like Assassin's Creed and have us chase after. Ooh, we this found it. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? This thing right here. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. She'll follow the light. Moth to fire. I'm convinced that Ben's called on the Missing a moth on the frame. How do we... Do we break the cast? Do we... Like, we're right here. Can't interact with it. Oh, dislodge it. Uh, cast it again. <laughs> yes. I knew okay. There was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. And that's our second one. These are from the pre-order. Cosmetic bonuses. So basically this is telling us what we get for completing X amount of mission and quests. And we can claim it once we got it. We get a glove next time. But does it keep track of all the site? Oh, the quests are here. Perfect. Like a moth to a frame. Uh, play on word. Very clever. So the rewards are appearance rewards. These cards are very pretty. Ten our first day. It's going to be a very busy first day as I want to explore a bit more. Where is the girl? My great aunt was a hobble. She says it's the best. Not too far. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Who's Natty? Who I should have seen that. We hit level two. Wonderful. Relationship side quests. What do we get for being level two? I guess nothing directly from the level itself. Got our glasses and a quest reward. So this one is side slash relationship quest. Quite a few to unlock. And this we have no clue yet. I guess once we complete one, we'll know. Plenty to do. We're supposed to go to charm class. Currently not tracking any quests. Could we... No, this is the spell one. It's not the... We need to go here. There we go. Sidetracked a little bit. 
Now, I do wonder, do we just Rebellion. cast this everywhere to find the field guy, like the bust? Because I didn't feel like the bust was giving us hints that we should be casting it. Ooh, is that... Oh, under us is the flu flame. Tell us to go this way. Can we get through this? Oh, it's loading a new area. I see. There's another flu flame just down there. Or not? Oh, it's above us. Looking at this symbol. Come now, Annabelle. It was a long time ago. Let's go to class. Three-headed dog. If you pay attention, Professor Ronan tends, tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him I to finish the lesson. Too hard on him myself. Some of us don't necessarily How want him to get back to the lesson. All pure blood families, like the blacks, wouldn't want riffraff running things. That's what my mother said. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I think it's pronounced Akio, but I might be wrong. Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. 
Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Okay. Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. It's like shuffleboard, sort of. Akio. Splendid! Wow, I'm gifted. Excellent control there. Okay. We are a master of this game. Very good. Unless it's just preset. But I would like to think that's all me. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see this. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can just knock hers yeah. off. No, wanna. I know everyone is watching. Akio! You are doing quite well. Not hard enough. That's it! Hmm. Here we go! Alright, we're gonna be pretty aggressive on this one. Still not hard enough. Oh, maybe. Brilliant. Watch this. Oh, she's gonna try to knock her own ball off. That is how That's weak. Alright, we're gonna try to knock this red one off. Maybe like from here. Akio. Just a bump. Nope. A perfect score. Remarkable. We'll take the win. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Obstacles. Okay. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. There we go. Okay, I mean, only 30 points for her as long as we... Don't hit the obstacles. 
Oh. Ooh. Here we go. That was close. Perfection. Well done. This up. Yes. Hmm. I mean, we already won, but we can aim for a perfect score without knocking our ball over. Akio. Just enough, just enough. Two perfect rounds. Yep. You're a match. Phew. Two of our balls are really close, but we got it done. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle, like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. That was you rather interesting. Accurate. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Lots of fellow students. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. 
Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Is that an Iron Maiden behind him? Revelio. And uh, we have finished Charm class. Now, we're going to end our episode here and come back and do the defense against Dark Arts as well as Hogmeats next time. Plenty to do in this very busy first day of school. But that was fun. So we'll come back and continue next time. Until then, bye.